Hello everyone and welcome back to Merlot Raisins channel. Today I'm unboxing the K57 RGB wireless. gaming uh, wireless gaming keyboard which you don't really see many of um, and Corsair makes quite good ones because they last have I think the only wireless uh, uh, keyboard they do is actually a mechanical one that's designed for the laptop so this is quite interesting because it's not actually a mechanical keyboard so here's the front of the box here just shows you where you kind of uh, expect to see the product look like if you are picking up in the shelf on the back kind of tells you what kind of technologies have got in inside it so you've got the um, uh, detachable palm armrest, you've got de uh, dedicated volume uh, multimedia keys, uh, six programmable macro keys, full RGB lighting as well, uh, and obviously you've got the Bluetooth dongle and the wireless dongle, you can set up in two different modes, so that's pretty cool. So let's uh, open up the box here, let's have a look what we get. Okay, now, first thing you'll see, in there you've got the keyboard with the uh, bag over the top of it, um, so I'm just going to take that out. I'm not expecting loads of different accessories and stuff like that. So I'll just put that to one side. Inside there, you can. That's quite cool. You see the uh, little brand in there. Play through whatever, whatever. Warranty guide tells you how to use the keyboard, how to set it up. You know, basic, simple stuff. Um, on top of the warranty, you register it with Corsair. This is cool. Being wireless, you do get a uh, really good quality actually cable with it, which is a micro USB cable, a bit strange that we're not using Type C, because everyone's using Type C these days. But it is a good quality cable, uh, feels quite thick and robust, and obviously that's what you use to charge it, because it's a rechargeable keyboard. Uh, in the side here, we've got uh, the wrist rest. So I'll just put this box over here, I'll cook it. And uh, this is the rubber wrist rest, which is the same wrist rest you get with all the other Corsair kind of uh, keyboard. So it's, uh, it's a very nice key, uh, wrist rest. The difference with this one actually, which I do notice, is the mechanical ones, like the K70, I think the Strafe as well. You can actually, it's double sided, so you can actually remove the rubber, flip it around, and it's got a different, different texture to it. But this one doesn't, so that's something to bear in mind. So, uh, Here's the keyboard itself, K57, all wireless, it's not using any mechanical keys. On the uh, top there, that's where your dongle sits, so it's quite cool how you've got a little home for it, so if you are carrying it around. Very tiny, you know, little nano dongle, so that's nice to see that you get that with it there. Um, you've got your micro USB connection there as well to charge it. Um, you've got your on off switch, so that's cool. And as you switch it on and off, um, you know, the lights come on on the keyboard there as well, so it actually already has some charge now, just feel this, uh, put this straight from the box. Now, uh, you've got rubber feet there at the bottom, and in the corners there, and you've also got the uh, feet there to give it a bit of an angle when you're typing on it. Uh, I'm just going to put the uh, wrist rest on, which just fits in like that, dead easy. And then there's your keyboard there, as, as it is in full. Um, so, I'm going to put it down there really nice. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect it up to my uh, laptop and then you can have a see what it looks like when it's actually switched on. Alright, so I've just got the keyboard plugged in, I've got the Corsair IQ software installed because this can use the whole suite of software basically. Um, I don't know if you had to play around with it, there's loads of stuff you can do. You can change the lighting effects, you can um, uh, do the macros, it's got six programmable macro keys so that's cool that you can do that. Um, you can mess around doing all sorts of funky rainbow colours or patterns or you can change the colour or turn it off completely if you don't like it. There's loads of stuff you can do. So anyway, when it's actually um, fully turned on, fully lit up, they say you get 100 and about 175 hours worth of battery life. Obviously that is with the RGB completely off, which I'm guessing most people aren't going to do. Uh, otherwise you just buy a cheap you know, keyboard which doesn't have RGB light and it's wireless. But this thing, if you have it with the RGB lighting on from a full charge, they're saying that you'll get about 35 hours worth of game time, which isn't too bad really, um, considering um, you don't have it on all the time, um, you know, and it, uh, you can just turn it off, you know, using the switch when you're not using it, so that'll save yourself a bit of battle like that. Now, on the top here, you have got a brightness indicator, so 
It's got three levels, so you've got uh, turned it off, then you've got brightness level, you know, low, medium, high, and then it just goes off again. Like that. So obviously the higher you get the brighter and it looks the coolest on it. And then you've got your media keys here, so you can play, pause, do all that kind of stuff, mute, um, uh, volume up, volume down. It doesn't have a roller, like on the K70 and the K95 have got a roller. Uh, the volume rocker, so that's quite cool, but you don't really have it on this one, you've just got the buttons, which isn't too big of a deal anyway. Um, on the top here, you've got a Windows lock key, so if you press that, it doesn't activate the windows, you can see on the laptop, it's not, nothing happening. Um, oop, no, I've got the uh, uh, wrist rest just fell off. Um, so yeah, you can turn that on and then Windows comes up like that, you know, um, as you'd expect. Um, it's got MR, which is like a memory button, which you can change, you know, your... Um, uh, Mac Pros and all that kind of stuff using that button, so that's quite cool that you get that with it. Um, I'm just going to pop this back on, there we go. Um, I'm just going to put this, the feet up there, um, so we can have a play around with it. I'll show you what it's like to type with. Um, now, the actual, um, uh, the actual uh, keys, um, obviously they're not mechanical, but they do feel quite nice. Now, they're not like your average rubber dome like uh, keyboards, you know, they don't feel squishy and spongy. If anything, it feels kind of like a, um, kind of like an MX Brown switch, I guess. It hasn't got a click, but you can definitely feel a bump and it's quite a, you know, um, it's, it's, a, it's a very uh, noticeable bump anyway, but it hasn't, you know, and, and it is very quiet as well. So if you are look something, looking for something that isn't very noisy as well, then it's a quite a good buy as well. So I'm just going to show you how loud it is, you know, typing, you know. Yeah, so that's the kind of idea you get from uh, typing on it, and it does feel nice when you are typing on it. It doesn't feel as good as a mechanical, but if you've not had a mechanical keyboard, then you won't really miss anything, really, because I, I do have, I've got the K95 at home, and that's an MX Red, so I'm not, I've got accustomed to not have a bump on my keyboards these days, because the MX Red switches don't have a bump, but, um, you know, th this isn't anything to, like, moan about. Um, now, for the price, this is, um, I think it's in 89.99 at the minute. Um, the link is in the description um, where you can buy it from. Um, but that's the kind of price you're looking at there for that. Now, if you have a look at the software, um, I'm just going to zoom in on this and I can give you an idea of what you can do on the software and how it changes with the um, the keyboard. All right, so this is the IQ software. If you've not seen it before, um, it is quite cool. You can do a lot of stuff on it. So at the moment, by default, it's set to clockwise spiral rainbow. Um, you know, you can it, whatever you change on here, it'll change on the live view as well. So you can change from spiral rainbow to rainbow wave, and it does that from left to right. Um, as you can see here, it's just doing it left to right. Um, you've also got, um, which is quite cool, um, like color shift. It just changes from, you know, one color to another color slowly. You can change the speed of that, you know, how it does it. So you got that. Um, what else we've got? Um, you know, there's loads of different funky ones. You've got rain. Oh no, that's a visor where it's like, kind of like Knight Rider or something like that. You've got rain, where it just kind of goes from the top to the bottom of the keyboard. So you can do all that with it. Um, one of the coolest ones is probably type lighting so that where it changes as you type so you'd be like and it, ooh, it like lights up in different colors you know so it is quite cool how it does all that um yeah another thing to mention sorry i forgot to mention is that you've actually got the wi-fi uh dongle button or you can use bluetooth there so you've got bluetooth one two so you can actually have it connected to two bluetooth uh, devices that is pretty cool how you got that um, but yeah, you've got your macro buttons, you can program them to do whatever you want. Um, one thing that is a bit annoying is on the actual keyboard itself, there's no battery indicator, so you don't know how long your battery's going to last or how long it's going to go for. Um, the only place I could seem to find it is if you're going, the IQ software and going settings, and then it's there, it just tells you status battery high. 
but it doesn't tell you like down here in like the icon. Um, it doesn't, it just doesn't really tell you anywhere. It's the same problem I think with the mic. I've got the dark core mount wireless mouse, and that doesn't tell you either. You just kind of have to uh, hope for the best, really, when you're playing your games, and hope it doesn't die on you. Um, but this is where you record the macros and all that kind of stuff. You can record things, you can program things and assign them to the keys. And you can assign to any key you want, but these ones are dedicated macro keys. Kind of like the K95, it's like a smaller version of the K95 really, but wireless and without uh, mechanical keys. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, let me know what you think of the uh, keyboard in the comments. Are you going to get one? Is it a bit steep for £90 for a wireless keyboard? Um, you tell me. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.